Hey guys, Nigel here with you, Nigel's Model Bench. Welcome back. I've got a little review for you today. Um, Peter from Airscale, that company there, um, got in touch the other day and he demanded, absolutely demanded, that he paid for my um, replacement Devastator that I had to buy because I sent in my original one. So um, I finally agreed and said I just don't feel right taking the money because he sends me so much stuff. And, uh, well, he sent me some more stuff. So, And I've just noticed on here... This is the first time I've seen a stamp with the king's head on it. So there's King Charles. What's very interesting is they've got the queen as a young lady and they've got Charles as an old man. So whether these these pictures portray them as they were when they took the realm, if you like, I don't know. It's uh, interesting. The first time I've seen that, and no doubt we'll be seeing it on notes soon as well. So anyway, um, I have a nice cardboard box. I don't really know what's in here. I know there's Devastator stuff, but I don't really know what it is, other than two items that you're going to be interested in. So, what's this? That's a picture of a woman. I don't, I don't think there's one of them in there. So, what have we got in here? Uh, we have TVD-1 Devastator, 130 second scale, M1919 Brownings, oh, the single bank gun. Okay, that's interesting. If you remember, I did a review before. Go back and take a look um, on some 3D printed stuff from Airscale. This is a new line. This is the Airscale Pro line. And he's just working now on some beautiful uh, Messerschmitt um, bits and pieces for Revell in 132nd scale. So that'll be nice to see. What we've got here is a beautifully printed um, Brownie machine gun. Absolutely beautiful. These weren't 50 cal, were they? I don't think they were that big by then. But the only trouble with these 3D printed guns, they do, as you can see, this one's got a slight bow to it. That's easy to just get back out. But uh, very, very nice indeed. And you've got the, the actual carriage there for it. So, uh, yeah, I must get myself one of those ultrasonic knives. Anyway. So that's very, very nice indeed. So if you don't want to use the twin mount, um, I did say before that when they went to the Battle of Midway, they carried twin machine guns. I was wrong. It was only, I think it was VT-8 from Enterprise that actually had the the twin mounts. I believe they used guns. Somebody did send me an excerpt from something, and I believe they used guns. I seem to remember reading. They used um, guns from Dauntless's, spare guns for the Dauntless um, dive bombers. So um, it could be that if you've got the twin guns from Airscale, they'll be good to use on your 30 second scale Dauntless. But uh, yeah, very, very nice indeed. Pretty difficult on this one, trying to work out what's actually the part and what's actually the the tree, as it were. <laughs> but uh, very beautifully done. Look at the holes in that, right in that bracket, lightning holes, absolutely gorgeous. Very, very nice indeed. So that's a single mate. So we've now got the option. And I do know uh, that somebody will be working on a mask set for it. Yeah, guess who that is. And here we have TBD-1 Devastator Variable Pitch Propeller. Okay, not sure what's wrong with the kit propeller. I'm not sure if it's too small, which isn't unheard of for a trumpeter. It could well be the wrong shape. It could just be that the hub isn't very well detailed. But Peter has made us a 3D printed propeller with separate blades and a separate hub, which is nice. I should have asked Peter. I don't know what's what's wrong with the kit propeller, but uh, maybe one of you guys can tell me in the comments below. But that is very nice indeed. That's lovely, isn't it? Some lovely bolt detail on the clamps and there's the big hub nut in the middle or hub bolt should I say very nice indeed I'm glad that Peter's gone into this sort of 3d printing stuff because he does a very nice job of it right in the box now I, I do know what the I didn't know I was getting them but I did know I was getting these there are two items I don't know why I've got a microphone here vision drives technology lavalier microphone it's obviously not a microphone it's something else Right, in here are two items that he has sent me, and I'm going to show you guys. They may go into production 
May being a very big May because apparently productionizing these and sorting the packaging and everything will be an absolute nightmare. So this here, this is a trolley for the torpedo. So you have a trolley here so you can display that next to the aircraft with the torpedo on it. And in here, let's show you that in detail. That is lovely, isn't it? You can see he's got obviously got some issues with warpage on here along that edge and um, he's got the eye bolts in the bottom beautifully done and those eye bolts they're absolutely beautiful it's lovely really really nice that has to be used on something and then in here we have a torpedo now He's having issues with um, productionizing this, as it were, because obviously a torpedo is, is a long, slender shape, and long, slender shapes just want to become bananas. So with this one, he, tell, he told me I had to do some work on the lathe and everything to get this one right. But um, he's done this especially for me, so thank you very much, Peter. And there we go. It looks like it's three pieces glued together uh, and it needs some seam work going on there. But um, is, it, is it glued together? Yes. But that is gorgeous. You can see the detail on there is, is lovely. We've got the hatch detail there. The detail on the back with the propellers is lovely. That is very, very nice indeed. But it does look like it looks like it's made of three pieces and it's going to need some seam work in there. But um, just look in. Yeah, it's all, it's all true. You can see this is the problem he's having. So, um, but that's going to look absolutely beautiful. Got the, the uh, lifting eye on the front there, look. And then that will sit in that trolley. Just like so. So you can see that there. Very, very nice little addition indeed. And this is going to be, I haven't seen the kit torpedo, but obviously this is going to be a lot nicer. Very, very nice indeed. It's very weighty as well. He did say that if he does manage to productionize these because of the volume of resin, um, it's it's going to be, uh, it's not going to be cheap. They're probably going to be like 20 quid or something. But um, I'm kind of wondering if he's considered... Um, he could perhaps just 3D print this rear section and cast the rest. That would probably be the easiest way to go. I'll have to have a chat to him. Anyway, um, that is uh, that is lovely. Very, very nice indeed. Very nice. So I think that's it. That's the box emptied. So that's a few more air scale goodies. So we've got the propeller, we've got the gun, and we've got the uh, the torpedo with its with its little trolley. Lovely, isn't it? Right, thank you for watching. I'll see you all soon. If you want to get some of this stuff, get on over to aeroscale.co.uk and uh, and get yourself some ordered. As I say, if you're into your ME109s or BF109s, whatever you want to call them, he is making a new range of 3D printed parts for that as well. So that'll be good. Right, see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.